the advantages of a W. Okay. So what is the advantage of a W? So let's discuss that because you should know what are the advantages with the W when you compare with any other reporting tools which are available in market. Okay. So you should know the advantages. Okay. You should know the advantages. Here we go, guys. Okay. Yep. Firstly, advantages. So the first advantage comes is yeah. First advantage comes under with the W is it doesn't require any intervention of a metadata layer when you compare with the other traditional tools. So what are all the traditional tools we have available in the market? The other traditional tools we have available in market like SAP BO. Cognos, MicroStrategy, OBI, SSRS, WebFocus, Pentaho, these are all the various reporting tools we have available in the market. But when you compare with the Tableau, okay, when you compare with the Tableau, why Tableau is sitting in number one position? Okay. Look at this guys. If you look at this screen, right, you will come to know the status of a W. See, W is standing in number one position, okay, because there is a third party survey called, uh, you know, Gartner's. They are the world best, you know, survey surveys in terms of the business intelligence, okay. See, the other reporting tools like ClickView, okay, Chipko, and Panorama, okay, Data Watch, okay, and SAP BO, SAS, MicroStrategy, SSRS, Burst. Like so many reporting tools are there, but this W is far ahead when you compare with this because it is the best data visualization tool available in the current world. Yes, guys, trust me. Okay, look at this. So far ahead with the other reporting tools. That is first thing. Okay, second, why it is? Okay, it is standing in the number one position. Fine, but how do you justify it? Right. So let me put it this way. So the first advantage. Is in a traditional report tool, we have a concepts of metadata layer, okay, where it is a middle layer. Okay, let me put it in this way. So don't think about it. Just no. Just let me tell you. So now look at this. In traditional tools, for example, it's a business objects. See, you have a database. I mean, it's a data source as well as your report. Okay, but look at this. In between, you have a concept called a metadata layer. Or middle layer, whatever it is. Okay. Middle layer or metadata layer. Okay. But see, this middle layer or metadata layer is available in the traditional tools. Whatever the traditional tool you consider. Okay. Whatever the traditional tool. Either it could be BU or it could be Cognos or whatever. Okay. Whatever. Right. It is there, the intervention of a metadata layer is there. Okay. But in the area of W, look at this. The W doesn't require the intervention of a middle layer or metadata layer, whatever it is. So W is having such kind of an intelligence. Okay. W is having such kind of an intelligence to avoid the metadata layer with a concept called in memory. What is that? In memory. So, you no need to store any physical data. Okay, your reports will be pointing towards your in-memory related data. Okay, that is the biggest advantage. So, what is the first advantage that you can highlight? Okay, the first advantage is with the help of a W. When I compare with other traditional tools, we can avoid the intervention of a middle layer or metadata layer. Okay, that is the biggest advantage, and. What is another advantage? You know, as I told you, we are having this W is what in memory tool, in memory tool, and performance is always effective, guys. This performance is always effective. Okay, because we are not hitting the physical data, we are hitting a data of virtual something like in memory. Okay, that is the reason with the help of a W.
comments is always recommended. Okay. All, I mean, always is a value added. Performance improvising factors is always an improvising you know, factor. So that is the reason we can highlight this is also one of the advantage with the, the W. And cost effectiveness and low maintenance. Yes, compared with any of the reporting tools which are available in the world, W is having less maintenance and cost effective. It doesn't require like, you know, I can say like millions of dollars of maintenance doesn't require. Okay, but it, it, it is, you can able to deal with this with a very limited cost effective. Okay, that is the reason, that is one of the key success behind the W. Okay, that is also one of the key success guys. Okay, and now you can ask me a question. And you know, it is self-driven dashboarding reporting tool. What is that? Self-driven. Self-driven in the sense, end users, business users, or the top level management, or the low level management, they can able to generate, or the middle level management, whatever it is, they can able to generate the reports upon their own, instantaneously. Okay. They no need to depend on any of the technical expertise person. No. So they can able to generate the report on their own, on their own instantaneously. Okay. Now you can ask me a question. If end user is in a position to generate a report upon their own, then what is the necessity of a W export? Just like you. Okay. Yes. Though they require, though they, they are in a position to prevent the reports very easily by instantaneously, but whenever it requires some kind of a customization and to maintain those reports across the environments like dev environment, UA environment, UAT and then production and for the validation purposes, et cetera, et cetera, they need a W experts like you. Okay. So that is also one of the key success behind, uh, you know, the W because end users can able to do as well as developers can also able to perform in terms of a development. Okay. And the biggest advantage with the W is we can able to generate this. Okay. We can able to generate this report, whatever the type of report that you are seeing here. Just let me show you. Just give me a second. Okay. Whatever the type of a report that you are seeing here, right? See, this kind of advanced reports, right, you can able to generate without in touch with the database. Yes, that is what? With the help of W, we can able to develop the report even in offline mode. Offline mode in sense, though you are not in touch with your database, you are in a position to, definitely you will be in a position to develop the dashboards in offline mode also. Online in the sense, where always you are in touch with the data database or data source, whatever it is. But with the help of a W, you can able to derive this kind of a sophisticated or advanced reports even in offline mode. Because we have a concept called, okay, data extract. Probably I'm going to discuss this. So look at this. So we have a concept called W data extract. So with the help of this concept called W data extract, you can able to derive the reports even in offline mode also, guys. That is the biggest advantage you have. Okay. And coming down to disadvantages. I can't say exactly it is a disadvantage, but it is, I can say like recommendations. Okay. I can say like recommendations. See, in a W, since it is what? It is a dashboard reporting tool. Okay. So that is the reason it is not recommended to have okay millions of records in a dash dashboard level i'll tell you the reason guys look at this i'll just give you a simple example okay why w is not recommended to have millions of records or huge volume of a data because basically it is a dashboard oriented tool guys okay let me show you just an example okay so don't worry with this just an example Now, for example, look at this. See, over here, just imagine that if I have millions of data, that does it make sense? See, how flexible it is. See, I can filter out the data like this. See, 
filters can be applicable, whatever. So that is the reason any type of a dashboard, it is better to maintain some limited volumes. Okay, look at this again. Yeah, so look at this. The moment I am hitting here, frequently the changes are happening here. Now look at this quarter one data. You can apply various filters. Look at this central region and then first class ship mode. Okay. 2013 year, 2014 year, something like that. So it is for better visualizations like this. Okay. Basically, it is for better visualizations like this. See, again. Yeah. But that is the purpose, basic purpose. But if you have a millions of records, then Tableau is not recommended because let me show you. Just I will just give you some sample example. Yes, don't worry with this. Okay, I'll show you with some business objects report. Don't worry with this. Now look at this. For example. I have some report like this. Okay. Okay. So, see, look at this. I might have so many rows here. Look at this. Like 2002 pages, 10 pages, or 100 pages, whatever. I have in the rows. So, if this is the scenario, then why you need to use a dashboard? No. Dashboard is what? Dashboard is for better visualizations, not like this Excel kind of a reporting. No. So, this is what just like your Excel, just columns and rows. This is not Tableau is meant for, right? Tableau is meant for what? W is meant for better visualization, just not like rows and columns. So that is the reason in a W level, it is not recommended to prepare a dashboard for huge volume of a data, like millions or trillions of a data is not recommended because it is exclusively recommended to prepare kind of a better visualizations of a data, not like you know, rows and columns. If that is the case, we can use Excel also. No need to go ahead with any reporting tool. So that is the reason. Okay, guys. So I can quote, these are all the best value advantages as well as the disadvantages of Tableau. Okay. 